Hey, amazing. Let's talk about Scorpio Moon. Okay. So, Scorpio Moons are very intense. And a lot of people forget that Scorpio Moons take everything personal. I'm not going to waste no time. I'll do another video of me catching up about where I've been. But let's catch up on these moon side videos because tonight there's going to be a full moon. Scorpio Moon people, man or woman, are sensitive AF. I know a lot of people view Aquarius moons, Capricorn moons as detached and, or just like very stoic. But Scorpio moons like to think that they're, way, they're that way, but they're not. One thing about Scorpio moon, because it is a water sign and a water placement, like the moon sign, it's, it's like... It's one of those signs, I'm not, I'm not going to say it's one of those signs you don't want to mess with because I have a Gemini moon, so I don't really take nothing serious until that other twin come out. But Scorpio moons is, they take everything personal. They're very irrational with their decisions, their emotions. They um, are very codependent on their mother to validate them. Like, I have a mom with the Scorpio moon and a brother with the Scorpio moon. And when they don't get that validation from their mother, it's like a bunch of tantrums a bunch of confusion a bunch of chaos because because excuse me scorpio is the sign of destruction and transformation and if anybody is going to talk about destruction and transformation it's going to be about me because i am born on the cusp of scorpio and sagittarius but i'm just saying like this one thing about these people is they take loyalty very serious and the thing is with them is they think that them showing every single side to them to you is their way of giving you a pass towards their trust and the thing is that's problematic and where i have an adverse or conflicting perspective with that is it's not as easy as it seems to be trusting and loyal to somebody who's crazy I've also encountered many Scorpio moon people, and it seems like with them, they just want to consume you as a whole, keep you to yourself, feel like they can control you when you're your own person. And it's all from a place of negligence. Mind you, this to me is more sensitive than Cancer moon. I prefer a Cancer moon person over a Scorpio person, Scorpio moon person, hands down, because the Cancer Moon is like, because it's in his home place, man, those people are some of the best people to be around. Me. Cancer Moon people have high emotional IQs. I have a cousin with a Cancer Moon. My ex, he has a Cancer Moon. These people know how to love, but sometimes, you know, sometimes it can be, hey, listen, every every sign got this highs and lows because it's still Cancer. It's the many phases of the moon. But these people know how to give you proper love cancer moon people they do and if you haven't already go watch my cancer moon video but for scorpio moon the way they love is to consume you it's way different than a pisces moon because the pisces the pisces moon person loves you through a fantasy through the rose colored glasses it's, I, I i enjoy pisces moon people i was seeing a guy with the pisces moon super sweet we bonded but not everything works out so with the scorpio moon right like for them when it comes to the public because the moon sign is who you are when nobody's looking and your relationship with your mom when they are in the public they're very cautious and of their surroundings they're not going to be in the front lines but kind of like the capricorn sign but not really because Let's just say if you're a family member or a friend of a Scorpio moon person, to them it's like you already passed the lose, passed, passed the test of their craziness. And if you survive it, they feel like, well, we can survive anything, right? Let's just say if you're out and about with a Scorpio moon, they're not only watching for themselves, they're watching for you too because you're in their vicinity, okay? Once you're a part of their circle, there is no detaching ever. It's like, welcome to death row, bitch. Okay, excuse my language, but that's how they act. That's how they act. That's how they act. I don't care what nobody says. That's how they act, okay? It's like, we going to the next life together. 
okay with them it's like i've noticed this with my mom maybe because she's my mom but then a sibling of mine he has a scorpio moon knowing i don't really like him but he's always watching everything always creating fake accounts to see what's doing like to them they don't know how to detach like a um an aquarius or a pisces or a capricorn moon or a sagittarius moon they don't know what that is okay to them once they feel like you see all sides to them it's for life and i will keep putting emphasis on it they are they too they kind of remind me of the pisces what you would think a pisces would do in a moon sign like this because pisces is like love 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 no matter what the pisces moon is actually more flighty than people realize however with the scorpio moon they're more delusional than the pisces moon are you me in the comment like scorpio moon scorpio people. moon people are intense like my brother has an aries moon well he has a pisces sun aries moon he acts just like an aries he's very much a tom's boy um, a guy's guy athletics whatever but scorpio's moon they're intense they take everything to heart there's not a joking moment with them. They take everything serious. Everything serious. They are very sensitive. They are more sensitive to the Cancer Moon or the and the Pisces Moon combined. There's nothing you could say. This is an intense sign. And I feel like if you're somebody that does have that intensity or need to feel like somebody who's really there for you no matter what, like I would say like a Capricorn moon person this will be a good place but for you guys to be compatible because i feel like capricorn moon people abandon their emotions a hundred percent a hundred percent to get shit done a hundred they try to forget that they have that type of energy within them because they don't trust nobody because i like i tell you the, the zodiac signs that know life capricorn sagittarius scorpio they know life and when I say that they know life means they know the real, raw, uncut, 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 I can't, I can't, uncut, okay, reality of life. They know life, they know death, they know triumph, they know climbing the ladders, they know life. Life has never been easy for those three signs, Sagittarius, Scorpio, and Capricorn, okay? They know life. So if somebody's going to be in twine and, and, you know, entangled with the Scorpio moon, you've got to accept the fact that these people know life. Okay? And some of them, they don't really cope the best way possible. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. Coping by lashing out, having temperaments. Like, these signs are actually very prone to have those temperaments. Sorry, stupid fly. These signs are prone to having these temperaments, okay? Specifically the Scorpio moon. They do things to pick and pick and pick at you because they're trying to see the real you. And when you don't give them what they're looking for, that's when they start acting the fool. Stinging people with that stupid ass temper, control it. I'm gonna wrap up the Scorpio moon video. It's your girl Maybum. I'm a singer, songwriter, and before we go separate ways, the documentary Sirens Black Girl Black Girl is out now. What you have to do, you have to join a membership in order to watch it on a promo for 99 cents. Watch it here on the Maven YouTube channel and subscribe for more. Alright, love you. Bye.